Good evening and welcome to Compline. As we gather at the end of this day, we gather with the one who knows us, who has chosen us, who loves us. So let's take a moment, putting aside the things of this day as we come to him now. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His faithful love endures forever. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. So the one who is our shepherd, the one who calls us friend, invites us again to bring this day to him. Let's bring it to him in his, in the peace and quiet now. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Psalm 28, verse 6. Praise be to the Lord, for he has heard my cry for mercy. And Luke 4, verse 18. He sets the captives free. One of the roles that the Lord has, one of the things that he does, is he sets the captives free. He is always worthy of our praise. But let's look and remember how he sets people free. He sets us free. Free from sin, free from the consequences of sin. He's the one who brings healing, setting us free from pain, although we don't always see it and don't always understand. He's the one who set captives free, as we remember, as we read in Scripture. But he's the one, too, who encourages us and helps us to work for justice, that those who are prisoners of conscience, those who are prisoners who shouldn't be, are fought for. He is the one who stirs us to work for justice, he is the one who sets us free and who helps us to set others free. He is the one who is worthy, again, of our worship. You might like to reflect on places where you've been set free. Free to walk in new ways of life. So let's praise him. Loving God, thank you for the ways in which you have set us free from old patterns. The ways in which you have set us free from sin and guilt. The ways in which you help us to fight for others, for justice and freedom. Loving God, thank you. Amen. Be present, O Lord, and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may rest upon your eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And together we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety.
and now may God's blessing, may his light and his glory surround each one of us and scatter the darkness of the night. Amen. Bless you and sleep well.